Hello there and welcome to another edition of Hashtag Now Smoking. I'm Gary Corbin, your host, executive editor for CigarAdvisor.com. And today we've got something a little out of the ordinary. It is the Davidoff back-to-back URNY limited edition 2019 torpedo. Yes, one size torpedo. And look at that, Jared, look at that pointy head on that thing, man. I mean, that is, that like, is, is that one of the sharpest torpedoes you've ever seen or what? That's not a torpedo. That's a 50 caliber bullet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's really nice. And of course, Jared Gulick, our copywriter uh, extraordinaire is with us today. Thanks for joining me today. I, I, I'm glad that you came on because um, this, is a, this cigar is sold exclusively at Famous Smoke Shop. And since we both work at Famous and um, I thought it'd be good to get uh, two opinions on this cigar. Well, thanks for having me, Gary. I appreciate sure. it as always. Well, it's always good to have you on. We always have nice conversations, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. All right. All right, so let's get into some of the details on this. Um, made by David Off, and it is a seven by 52 torpedo. So it's seven inches long cigar. And uh, the, the, the body is medium in the medium range. Uh, the wrapper is Ecuador, Connecticut. And it's very clean, very nice looking wrapper on the cigar. And uh, the binder is US Connecticut. So that's interesting. And then the fillers are from the Dominican, which kind of makes sense with David off, and Peru, There's some Peruvian in here. So you don't so see that too cool. often, do you? You don't see Peruvian tobaccos often. No, there's a few few guys that use it. Um, but uh, I think that they did a really nice job on this. Of course, I wouldn't uh, expect anything less from the Davidoff factory, but let me give you a little bit of the background on this cigar, and then we'll uh, get into cutting it, lighting it, and all that fun stuff. Um, like the millions of other stories from the Naked City, <laughs> it all started in Brooklyn. Uh, this is uh, made for these two guys. Uh, they're, they're called the Urban Artists, Mike Baca and Fernando Romero. They're members of this local artist collective known as URNY, or Urban Artists, New York, get it? U, Urban R, Artists, New York. Yeah. Um, anyway, now some years back when Dave Rolf wanted to put an urban spin on their uh, Xeno Platinum line, remember the Xeno Platinum line, right? This is right. Cool around. Um, Mike and Fernando did the custom artwork for their packaging, and back to back is their. Uh, second project with Davidoff. And it's also the, their, their brand, these guys' brand, um, back, back to back is what they call it. And they were first o offered in standard size shapes uh, that featured uh, you know, the URNY artwork on it. And these torpedoes are sold only at Famous Smoke Shop. And why is that? Well, 2,500 cans of these torpedoes were released just about a year ago. And this was for worldwide, you know, sales. That's 30,000 cigars in total. And they were presented in canisters, which you'll see in the pictures, um, because they wanted a package that symbolized the spray paint cans, you know, the spray paint cans that they use when they do their murals and stuff. So um, everything was going great until COVID-19. <laughs> right? It's like... This is a familiar... <laughs> Familiar story right here. <laughs> COVID-19 ravages the earth and uh, unfortunately Davidoff is compelled to close them out. So uh, Famous comes to the rescue and um, I'm, I'm, I tell you, I'm hoping we're still going to have them in stock by the time this video uh, rolls out because let me tell you what the cost of this cigar is. This is a $15 MSRP cigar, right? You know, it's, it's, it's Davidoff. It's classy. It's good. It's high quality, right? The canister at 12 is selling for 180, all right? But they're now selling it famous for 89.95 for the canister. That, that's under 750 a cigar. So it's like a, almost 50% off for this beautifully done cigar. So maybe that'll That's a pretty get good buy deal, it man. and we won't even have to do the review. We can go home, right? <laughs> when I took these out, when I got these at the house, I said, hmm, that's sharp looking, right? So I'm going to cut mine. I don't know, how, how, do you, how are you going to cut this one? Because I know you like to use different techniques and things. Almost always when I use a, uh, when I'm cutting a uh, torpedo, I cut it with an angle cut. Uh, some you people call it the Dickman, the Dickman cut, Dickman, right? Whatever, yeah. <laughs> um, and I have, 
I'm kind of OCD about it. I do it so that, so here's the, here's the band. I right. do it so that it angles down this way with the band being up. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you. And okay. I made the mistake of bringing a perfect cutter, which means I'm going to have to cut it a couple times. And that's okay. Because there is yeah. a long cap on this cigar. <laughs> I, I've done that. I've done that. Yeah. Um, I also do like the, like the Dickman cut, and I've even written about it. But for this one, I'll tell you the truth. I'm, I really have not had a lot of luck over the years with torpedoes for some reason. So I'm just going to cut it Go ahead. like there. I'm gonna, I'll tell you why I, I think that much. problems with torpedoes. There it is, folks. <laughs> I think the problem that you've had with torpedoes is the same one that I've had, where torpedoes inherently, because, you know, it's a much tighter roll at the top where they're bringing it to a tip, the, t the tobacco there is just so compact that the draw is typically harder. And I think a lot of people, what they do is they cut it too shallow. They use the regular yeah. rules for cutting the cigar, and it's like when you have a torpedo, mm -hmm. you got a lot more wiggle room, and you should cut it much further down, or else you're probably going to have a pretty weak draw. Yeah, you know, I just well, this is a, I just made it on this one any deeper, and I think I would have uh, it would have unraveled. But I tell you, um, what are you getting on the the pre light? Because um, well, you go first, go ahead. Like Fig Newtons, kind of almost. Really. Like, like fruity cookie. Like a graham cracker. Um, with a little figgy note? Yeah, kind of kind of like that. Shortbread. I guess they're made with shortbread. The uh maybe it's even like molasses. Like molasses, fig newtons, that, that's all kind of in the same okay. real half, you know. I'm I'm getting sort of a um I'm getting kind of a nice sweet note. I'll tell you, you know, this the cigar has a nice, you know, the nice barnyard aroma to it, you know. Yeah. Like that. And you know, I mean they're I mean they're beautiful wrappers, there's no doubt about it. I mean, yeah. let's fire her up. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm getting it's I, kind of nutty and toast toasty, right? You know, that kind of thing. I always say that Connecticut's are like the acoustic guitars of cigars, right? Like there's no distortion. Oh. Of, there, there's no distortion to hide if you mess up the burn. Like you're gonna show everybody how bad you messed up. Because <laughs> it's it's very it'll, clever. All right. It'll look real bad. Yeah, I'm glad I thought of that. Anyway, so um <laughs> well, it's pretty smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Now, um, we were sent a couple of samples. Did you smoke the, the first sample? I did smoke the first sample, yeah. yeah I, I, I got to tell you, I, um, I, I liked it, uh, but I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. So we'll see. This is really the, the real test. Yeah, really nice volume of smoke. I don't remember it having that, but uh, maybe because of the way I cut it. So, you know, you cut a little deeper, you're going to get, obviously, a, a little better draw. Yeah. I was a little skeptical when I had my first sample because you know a lot of a lot of cigars have these these similar uh, you know I, I call them virgin birth backstories where it's like it's a miracle we have this fifteen dollar cigar and we were <laughs> able to get it half price you know and then you smoke and you're like eh, is this really you know some stuff is you know some mm -hmm. some things out there don't uh, you know make the grade but mm -hmm. this was one when I smoked it I was like. I'm actually very surprised on how well this was holding up. Um, and I think, it, you know, for my first sample, this is obviously just my second, but my first sample was intriguing enough to say, I'm going to follow this up and order some, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's got, you know, this medium body to it, which I haven't really hit on yet because it's, I, my, I'm still getting a little bit of that. I'm still getting a little, I'm actually getting a little bit of pepper. Uh, no, I know you're in the yeah, front I mean, end, and uh, some some of that you know some some woodiness, and you know it's funny. One of the descriptions that uh, I found when I was you know doing some you know research on this cigar, they said there was like a this like little hint of cognac in the mix. Um, I didn't get it that much on this, but I did on the first sample on the cold draw. I actually got it. Sometimes you know you ever get a cold draw where it has a little whiskey taste. Yeah, sometimes. Whiskey, yeah, I, I, I did know get that. About on the first one but uh this this is burning really nicely so far anyway as you know famous smoke shop is an appointed david off dealer so you know it could be one of the reasons we got a shot at these and it's you know it's it, it's not the cigar's fault that COVID happened and david off had to you know close them out you know but um I, i'm i'm looking at it at you know hey 
this is a good deal. And I think that's Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, it's it, it's bad luck for Davidoff. No offense, Davidoff. But it's good <laughs> luck for you guys because, you know, this is a cigar that probably should have had a little bit more fanfare when it was released. But again, you know, it got sullied by the whole plague. <laughs> and uh, now, uh, you know, we have we have the availability to give it out at, at such a, an economical price. I think it's a win for everybody else, you know? Yeah, for sure. And it's a long smoke, too. I mean, you know, you're getting... I like when you get your money's worth out of a cigar, you know? That's, that's yes. what I'm... You know? So, anyway, um, we're just kind of creeping into the first uh, act here. What, what, are you, what are you tasting so far? I've got a, just a little bit of ash going. Uh, yeah, me too. Not too far in. Yeah, we're about, um, I'm getting a about little bit of... Um, they burn, too. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of, like... Um, Definitely some kind of wood, but I don't know if okay. I could really nail down what kind it is. It's not cedar, though, which, which is what you normally get with a Connecticut. Um, I'm surprised, mm. you know, you mentioned the pepper. It's got a little bit more body to it than a lot of Connecticut's. I know last year you wrote an article specifically about Connecticut's that have a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, attitude, as I like to say. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if it's quite there, but it's definitely more than your, you know, run-of-the-mill Connecticut. It's a little more there. Yeah, well, I think the uh, Peruvian tobacco is having an effect on its, um, you know, its, its its strength or body, for that matter, really. More of the body, I think, the character. Yeah. Because um, that tends to be a little spicy, uh, depending on, you know, the leaf they use. But um, I'm wondering if the Connecticut binder, the U.S. Connecticut, is a, is a, shade, is a shade grown. Should we assume that? If it was grown in the U.S., it's almost guaranteed to be shade grown. Shade grown, okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, I'm getting a kind of I'm getting a, you know a similar a similar thing as you. I, it's it's I I thought it was I thought it was a little cedary at first, but you're right. It's it has kind of a it has a different kind of a flavor to it. It's a little it's a little floral too, right? It's got that almost like yeah. Cuban profile, you know, I, please, the, I'm not, I'm not sense. It's, yeah, it's not yeah. a Cuban, it's not a Cuban cigar. Like I'm not tr telling you to rush out and get this Cuban, but mm -hmm. it's got this kind of little bit of character of a Cuban cigar going on. Maybe it's more like an oak, you know, like an oaky kind of a note, you know, it could be oak. Yeah. I have to update my description for this. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to start licking. I rushed it. this morning. Um, <laughs> anyhow, uh, it's so it's burning great. You know, we're off to a really good start. It tastes good. Uh, real quick before we go, what are, what are you are you drinking? What are you drinking with with your cigar? All right, so I finally did it. I've been bullied enough in the office, and now in my work from home office, mm -hmm. about everybody talking about coffee over the last two years, and so I decided to finally have coffee with a cigar. Good. I've got and the iced that. coffee. Actually, it's mo it's mocha. Ice coffee, so a little chocolatey thing going on. And if you want to know what it, that's like for me, you're gonna to have to wait and stick around for the next okay. act. <laughs> All right, we will once we get a little bit more into this first act. All right, hey, check it out. We are well into uh, Act One, as I say, of the back to back URNY limited edition 2019 tour beta. And Jared. How's it going? I think this is a really nice, creamy smoke, man, so far. This is a winner, man. It's exceedingly smooth. Um, I, I mean, it's just, it's, it sounds so simple and almost so selly. And I'm, you know, we're reviewing the cigar, not selling it, but it's, it's, it's just such a, a good value. It's, it's hard to say anything else besides that. Yeah, no, I mean, and look at the ash. I don't, I haven't seen yours, but. Um, I rounded mine off a little bit because, oh, you didn't even tap that yet, huh? That's a personal question. Tap that ass, bro. <laughs> anyway, that sounds good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a really nice creamy smoke. It's definitely medium bodied, so we'll, we'll agree on that. Um, I think that uh, the flavors I'm getting are still kind of that woody note like that oaky kind of a flavor and i'm getting some sweetness off of this how about you so i'll say full disclosure uh because i know people are looking for an honest review it did get for about two or three minutes it got a little bitter but
but now it's gotten a little sweeter again. Uh, so, okay. you know, there is a tiny little bit of bitterness, but you're going to get, you're going to blow through it fast. And I wouldn't worry about that. And it may not even happen in your, in your cigar, you know, uh, but it's, it's just nice, woody, sweet, and smooth right now. That's just yeah. a perfect Connecticut, you know? All right. One last question before we move into the uh, middle half. And then also we, I'm going to do a pairing too, but are you getting, are you getting a little pepper on the, on the finish there? You know, just kind of, I don't know if I'm getting, it's, you know, a lot of people don't get that. I shouldn't say they don't get, but a lot of people don't realize that cigar reviewers, some cigar reviewers use pepper and spice interchangeably. And there's a difference. Yes. I'm true. getting spice, but I'm not getting, it's a little spicy, but it's not peppery. You know what I mean? I'm not okay. getting pepper in the back on the finish, but it's a little spicy. Yeah. Just a little. Well, okay. I, I, I'm, 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 to me, it's, to me, it's kind of like, like a very light, pepper like a white pepper so but it's not yeah. it's not like you know right. just hanging in there it's, it's just kind of nice little sprinkling at the, at the end of your you know little toe there you know? yeah but uh it's really burning well too so let's see what happens when we get a little further into the cigar all right we are back and we are just headed into act two with the david off back to back urban new york the torpedo limited edition <laughs> This is the uh, back-to-back URNY limited edition 2019 torpedo. And um, you know what? Before uh, we get going, I, I got to say, this is a Davidoff through and through. I mean, I, I, I think I, it's safe for me to say I've smoked enough Davidoffs over the years. They have a certain character, and this has it. It really does. It's, I'll, I'll, I'll take it a step further, and I kind of, touched on this but it's just it's it's everything a connecticut should be it's everything a connecticut should be you know when you're looking for like old reliable in a cigar you know just something that you can pick up and it's just going to be there for you as a morning cigar or something that to smoke with with your coffee this just it just hits the spot and i was like i said i was a little skeptical at first Mm -hmm. but especially on my second sample especially coming now into act two this is just smoking awesome right now. Well, I uh, did bring some liquor to have with this. And before I do that, Jared, what are you getting in terms of flavor now? Is it, has it developed uh, for you in any specific way or? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I'm actually getting some anise right now. Some of that like black licorice. Oh, really? Well, like a licorice Yeah. Yeah, just, a, just a, a very slight hint of it. Uh, still very, very floral. Yeah. And it's, it's just as it, as it's, as it builds up, it just keeps getting, it's not like this wave, but it just keeps creeping sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Yeah, it's yeah. And it definitely, you know, it's definitely a lot more floral than I remember the first one. Yeah. Like I said, I wasn't really even paying attention to the first one. I was just trying to relax and not think about it too much, but this is really good. Now, guess what I brought? What'd you bring? <laughs> this was given to me as a gift over the last uh, holiday. This is Dewar's from Game of Thrones, it's called A Song of Ice, Johnny Walker, A Song of Ice. Now, I didn't watch Game of Thrones, okay? But this is a very nice package, has a wolf on it and everything, and um, it's, it's called a unique blend. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna put a little bit over ice. I'm, I'm not really a big blended scotch guy either, but. You got me this, on the edge this, of my seat though. Can you see how far I'm leaned in here? <laughs> this, look, this looks good. <laughs> And maybe a little too much there. And you know what I like to do when I have a drink like this? You put a little slice of orange on the top there. There you go. Try this out. Salud. Cheers. Ooh, hey, that's smooth. Now, is it is it enhancing or detracting anything, you know? Well, you know, it's kind of funny. Like last the last review I did where I had the... Um, the Hoyo de Monterey, um, and the, um, I think it was, uh, what did I, oh, the Flor de Cana rum. They were very similar, and in a way almost canceled each other out, in a sense, but, uh, and this is, this is, this is interesting, because this is very smooth and creamy, has a little bit of a fruity taste, you, you know, the orange might be helping that too, but it, it definitely has some sweetness to it. 
And this is very similar. And I think, I think they go well together for that, for that reason. This is a good, you know, it works for me. You know? I'm going to try that with an orange slice in it. That, that's actually, yeah. I've never thought about doing that. So. Yeah, it's a nice way to do it. You can do rum like that too. I'm getting some bugs here. Uh, anyway, I think it's time to remove the uh, band. Let's do it. So for me anyway, I don't know. Come off nice. Comes off beautifully and it doesn't oh, stick yeah. or anything like that. Clean, Very clean, nice. clean. All right, so here we are, well into the second half of the cigar. Well, just about the second half. It's a seven inch cigar, it's a long cigar. And I'm still getting plenty of that floral action, you know, and the nice uh, kind of like a, that uh, oaky and some sweet tobacco notes, you know, and I thought, I thought the Peruvian would prove to be a little more spicy. I'm, I'm not even getting much of that peppery note I was talking about earlier either. It's, it's still a little spicy, but it's not like you said before, it's not peppery. It's more yeah, spicy. I don't even know what spice I would say it is, but it's just, no. it's something that's there in the background. It adds a little kick to it, but it's nothing that's going to, you know, toss you off the edge or anything like that. It's just a nice reminder that, hey, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're, exactly. You're enjoying me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's keep it going, and we'll see what happens when we get down to that last third. All right. We are back for the final act of the URNY back-to-back Limited edition 2019 torpedo made by David Off Cigars. And Jared, watch this. That's a lot of good smoke, man. <laughs> you know, it's, I'm so glad you brought that up because I was, when we were off camera, I was thinking about it to myself and I was like, I hope he brings up the smoke in this because technically, and I'm talking from a technical standpoint, okay? Technically, that makes the cigar full bodied by volume of smoke but nobody mo nobody anymore associates full body with volume of smoke they're talking about you know flavor intensity really so it's something we all do wrong when we're reviewing cigars right but this is a lot of smoke for a connecticut i like it a hey, lot how about the retrohale have you done have you done that at all have you gotten anything from that yeah it's like um remember that pepper you were saying there's a little bit of pepper there's a little bit of pepper there if i if i retro i get some of that pepper but again nothing nothing in too intense or over the top really it's just if, yeah. if i had to put this into one word it's just silky silky yes good that's a good that's a good way to put it i i, I don't know if you could see it on screen while i was retro hailing while i was taking a puff and it, it's it's uh, i it is like just it's a little peppery but it was actually pretty smooth i didn't really get like a shot you know of uh, pepper like you would get from some cigars you know this is uh, really nice Tell you, this has been hitting on all cylinders for me. You know, I mean, yeah. and, I mean, seven and a half bucks <laughs> for like a big day off, you know? Yeah. I, I have a question for you, Gary. Sure. And it's maybe not just about this cigar. It's about just cigars in general, but we'll use this as an example. Okay. Do you think that there are certain things that you do when you're smoking or not certain things that you do when you're smoking or that you've done before you smoke? or maybe the environment that you're in that changed the flavor of the cigar? Yeah, and it's funny you should bring that up because I had lunch before this and I had um, some very spicy chicken. It was like a buffalo chicken sandwich. Uh -huh. Actually, I made a wrap and um, I said, oh boy, this is really spicy. I wonder if this is gonna screw up you know, my palate. Right. So after that, I think I had like some, some chocolate or something and I just tried to get you know, some of that spiciness off. Uh, but yeah, I do. I do agree. I think that depending on what you have, I know that um, I think onions for me, not good. Onions tend to really lay in that palate deep and they will uh, screw Onions up. are the worst. <laughs> yeah. I like onions. I like uh, the, the, uh, white, uh, you know, uh, Vidalia onions. But yeah. um, even those, it's just, uh, it doesn't uh, do well with a cigar for, for me. But, you know, since, since we're home a lot more often, you know, the time that I would normally commute to work, I take that time now and I, you know, I've tried to get in a little bit better shape and I'll, I've been walking and, and, and stuff like that. I'll tell you what, after you've exercised a little bit, yeah, and a, a cigar is amazing after that. Really? Yeah. Like, have you ever had like a meal after you, after you do a little bit of a workout? Yeah, sure. Everything tastes better because it's, it's like a reward at that point. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know? Well, you should be rewarded, you know. 
All right. Well, anyway, any um, any uh, thing you want to note about what's happening in this last turn? I'll, I'll I'll tell you real quick. It's gotten a little bit more in a little bit stronger, and yeah. it's also uh, got a little more body to it, and it's not as sweet as it was earlier. But I'm still getting some of that floral note and some of that oakiness out of it. How about you? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much on par with you with those notes. I'm getting uh, still that floral note that you're talking about. I see exactly what you're talking about, where it's ramped up a little bit in the intensity, but it's still not an intense cigar. Um, I think this would be a great smoke for anyone who's new. Uh, they want to have uh, a, you know an epic experience without a spending a lot of money. This is Davidoff pedigree. Oh, absolutely. At no you know bundle prices, like you just, I it's it's a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah, it really is. So uh, I'm, I, I've enjoyed it, and I, I think you know most people who either you know if, if you've never had a David off, this is a good way to start. You know, at least you know in terms of uh, value, and uh, or if you just like a real good, you know, well-balanced blend with uh, you know a nice Connecticut wrapper on it. I think you know you can't miss. You know, even even a really experienced cigar smoker could, I think, appreciate this cigar. You know, just a little change of pace if you're used to all that strong, you know, Nicaraguan stuff. I thought this might have had some Nicaraguan in it, but it doesn't. When I check the blend, it's uh, now the earlier cigars they did, the back to backs, they are uh, they are Nicaraguan, but um, right. This one. This is really Peruvian different. and Dominican, right? Yeah. 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 Probably Pilato Cubano, which you know David is really good at doing. Um, so anyway. Um, we're going to wrap it up here. So any final thoughts on the cigar? My final thought is you kind of, uh, you know, we'll bookend it a little bit because you talked about this in the beginning. These are probably going to go fast once the word gets out. So, you know, I'm never going to, you know, strong arm you and say, buy the cigar, buy the cigar. But this is kind of like the blue moon. You know, this is, this is, you got to jump on this while it's available because I see once, once the word on the street gets out, these are going to fly. Right. These are going to absolutely fly. Right. Now, they did make 2,500 cans. I don't know how many they sold before March when COVID hit and they had, a, you know, they had their problems. But um, I'll, I'll wrap it up as thus. I think it's a superb value, especially if, you know, you ever wanted a David Off quality cigar at a really reasonable price. And, you know, the quality is first rate. The smoke is smooth. It's creamy. It offers a nice mix of flavors. It, you know, it doesn't... Uh, doesn't fight with your palate or anything. And, uh, and as we just noted, it's also new cigar smoker friendly in terms of strength. And I think it pairs well with the whiskey. It seems to go well with your coffee and even my iced coffee went well with. And uh, I would even say if you're a wine person, and I met a lot of people in recent weeks who really like wine with their cigar. They're really into it. And I think a good Cabernet would go well with this too. So, you know. Your choice, you know, whatever you. So, prefer. so how much was this again for the for the jar? Okay, well, if you're gonna buy the uh, the can, because it comes right. in a can, like the uh, Zeno Platinum series did, um, it is um, eighty nine ninety five for twelve, which comes out to about seven fifty a smoke. It's a hundred and eighty dollar value. I mean, you know, it's David off. You know, it's it's good stuff. So, look how look how well it burns, man. Is, yeah, and it's. You know, I mean, it really, like I said earlier, it's hitting on all cylinders. So I, I really, yes. I'm really, really glad that uh, we got a chance to, um, you know, sort of ex explore the cigar and share it with our viewers today. And um, all right, so remember that all David off back to back U R N Y limited edition 2019 torpedoes and. All other David Off cigars are available at famous-smoke.com. And while you're there, make sure you get that nice free catalog with all the great deals in it. And for more cigar smoking advice and information, visit us at cigaradvisor.com and sign up for our emails. You'll find get, uh, Jared and myself at cigaradvisor.com, along with Mr. Pulo, who's not here today. But um, you can also follow Cigar Advisor on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. And if you like this video, please be sure to like it on YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel and opt in for our notifications. Okay, so that's all for now. Jared, thank you so much for coming on today. And it was kind of last minute, but I do appreciate it. And I think we hey, have thanks for time. having me. It's always a blast, dude, always. All right, so anyway, I'm Gary Corbin. I'll see you next time on Hashtag Now Smoking. <laughs>